Hi guys, Wandersun here. Today I bring you a quick tutorial of the new add-in, Simple Camera Shake, that helps you create camera moves quickly and very realistically. Let's start by installing the Simple Camera Shake add-in that can be found in the description link of this video. See that a new panel has been created in View 3D. Note that this add-in only displays its functions if a camera is selected. Just below we have the function to choose between presets for our camera, this helps to speed up the process even more. In the first field we have the option to choose the intensity of the camera's movement, where in location scale is the duration of the movement and in location strength we have the intensity of this movement. In the field below we have the same controls but for the rotation movements. In Restrict Frame Range we have the option to choose where the camera movement will start and end based on the timeline and also the blend in and blend out to smooth the transition of the initial and final movement. And finally the button to create the camera movement and also to delete. That said, let's see in practice how this add-in works. Just select the camera, choose which preset to use and click the Add Camera Shake button. After that just go to the graphic editor window, and you can see all the movements that were procedurally generated in the camera's delta transform parameters, as you can see in the video. By playing the animation you can see the movement created working in real time. See that a very realistic movement is generated. If you want to delete the generated effect, just click on the Remove Camera Shake button, choose another preset, and after that create them again by clicking on the Add Camera Shake button. See that now a much more intense movement has been created that you can use in action scenes or explosions. Now that we understand how the parameters work I'm going to create a looped camera movement that can be useful in many cases. I'm going to change the animation to 200 frames. After decreasing the animation time, I'll enable the restrict frame range function to end at frame 199, in this case one frame the same as the total animation and to start at frame 1. I usually do this to have a smoother transition during the loop. I'm also going to set the blend in and blend out to 25 to smooth the final transition a little more with the initial one. Choose the desired preset and create the camera movement. After that we will play the animation and see the final transition movement with the initial one. See that the movement is done perfectly, it has a nice loop with a very smooth transition. Another very interesting function we can do with this add-in is to create camera movements that follow an object, like a car for example. In this example I'm going to show you how to do this using an object constraint. Add a track to to the camera. After that choose the cube so the camera can follow. See that by doing this the camera will follow the direction of the object as shown in the video. For this effect to work we need to decrease the track's influence, so let's change it to 0.6. By doing this and playing our animation we can see that the movement is still working, but if we change the influence to the value 1 it stops working. That's because track to will lock all camera movement. I will now create a movement of the cube in front of the camera to see how our animation looks like. I'm going to add a keyframe in frame 1 and in frame 200 I'm going to move the cube away from the camera. When playing our animation we can see that the effect is working correctly, but it is very smooth. I'm going to delete the current camera movement and add a little heavier movement. I'm going to add the movement with the medium preset. After that, when giving play, we see that we now have a movement more suited to animation. The coolest thing about this add-in is that it is possible to add more than one camera movement. For example, I will create a more intense movement from frame 40 to frame 120, this will generate a nicer effect when the object is close to the camera. See that when you play the animation, the camera shakes bigger after going through frame 40. But we can still add a more expressive movement there, I'll change the location and rotation to values that will generate an even heavier movement. 
Putting smaller values on the scale and a little bigger on the strength will have an even better effect on our animation. Now I'll add another shake effect similar to the one we just created, but from frame 130 to frame 200 as shown in the video. In this case it doesn't matter where the timeline pointer is, but the values that are active inside the restrict frame range field saying the initial frame and the final frame. After that we will play our animation and see if everything is working correctly. Note that the camera shakes more intensively when it goes through frame 40 and frame 130 as configured. And we finish this tutorial here, where you could learn how easy it is to use simple camera shake add-in. Finally, see three projects that were made using this add-in so that you better understand what is possible to be done. Keep watching the videos and see you soon.